pretty good. Groundwater is a natural resource. It's a shared resource. It's a resource that you're gonna be using when you're pulling water out of it. And if you don't seal the well properly, and if you don't take, if you don't use the right materials, you can contaminate the groundwater, not only for yourself, but for all of your neighbors and other people around you who also use it. So do your research and do it right. Let's go over some of the materials that we'll need. We've got our auger here. We've got our extension pipe here. This should extend us up to about 16 feet. Got a shovel. You'll need some gravel. I've got two 10 foot sections of four inch PVC pipe. Uh, I've also got some grout in bags that are still inside because I don't want them to get wet, but I will bring those out when we're ready to fill in the uh, well. All right, let's get digging. Okay, got our extension in. Let's keep going. So I'm down about seven feet now, and I'm hitting this sand. It's weird, digging a hole in your backyard, you can learn a lot about geology, you can learn about what kind of soil, your, what kind of ground your house is built on.
That right there is water, folks. Way down there, that's about, um, we're about 10 feet down. And we have standing water there. Okay, this is day two of our well dig. Our main goals for today are to dig deep enough so that we've got a couple feet of standing water. We've got to cut a screen into our PVC pipe so that water can filter into the pipe. And then we'll be able to suck it out with our one inch tube. And then seal up the well casing. Alright, we're now ready to start cutting the screen into the bottom of our well casing. We want narrow slits to keep out little rocks and debris and stuff. And it helps keep out mud. Here is our finished well screen. You can see a bunch of, of the slits that I cut in it with my Dremel. And it's not perfect, it's not pretty, but I think it will get the job done. <laughs> I'm surrounded by trees on all sides. We've got our well casing in the hole. On top of the gravel, we'll need to grout from the gravel up to almost the surface. But before we do that, let's test this thing out and see if we can get some water. I'm using a foot valve. This is a one inch foot valve. We're gonna put it on the bottom of our inner pipe. Basically what it does is it lets water come up but not go back down. It'll make pumping the water out easier. ready to pump some water out, do a test, and see how this casing works. I've got a water pump here. I've got a whole bunch of couplings that I'm going to use to connect these different size hoses together. Then we're going to connect it up to this pipe, stick the pipe in the hole, see what happens. Well, this has to pump a lot of air out of this pipe first, so I'm going to go grab a coat. I think there's so much junk in it, the pump is having a hard time. <sighs> My filter got clogged already. I'm just cleaning the filter here on my water pump. But now that we know that we can get water out of our well, now it's time to grout around it, seal it up, and we're done. You wanna use grout because it doesn't shrink or expand. We finished our grouting, and this is what our well looks like now. Whew. 
a lot of hard work, but it's going to be awesome when it's fully hooked up. You really want to make sure you grout. Don't just throw dirt and crap back into the hole. Uh, you're going to have two problems. First, all that mud and dirt and stuff that you throw back into the hole is just going to seep down through your gravel into your well casing and your water is going to be brown forever. Who wants brown water forever? The second reason is that it protects the larger groundwater source from chemicals and other stuff seeping down through this opening. That backfill is softer than the original dirt and it's going to be more porous and it's going to allow stuff to seep down in there. And again, we don't want chemicals and nonsense getting into the groundwater because we all share it. So don't do that. Don't throw mud back into your hole. Grout it properly. The last thing I'm going to do today is put a well seal on the top of the well to protect the inside of the well casing just like the grout protects the area around it. Pretty good.